Dan here, DD Speed Shop. For those of you over 40, go get checked out. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and work on this 57 Chevrolet. Um, where we left it, we kind of did, what did we do? Oh, we did bumper, kind of cleans up and all that. So we're prepping this thing to go down the road and ultimately I want to take my name off of it. Now, a lot of people had said in the comments on some things, well, you leave your name on a free advertising and this and that. You know, they say there's no such thing as bad or bad advertising or bad publicity. Uh, I disagree. So I don't really want my name on it if it's not mine. And uh, ultimately, you know, it is what it is. Now, what we're gonna do here is, I originally thought I would wet sand this off. And then someone put in the comments, you could try oven cleaner. So, I don't know, we'll see. See if that'll come off. We have a whole, like a 10 pound bag of Princess Auto rags, oven cleaner, I think we've got some Windex. And uh, we'll try it. Now, man, that is, needs a polish. I'm gonna paint the doors black too, so I brought some semi-gloss black because it was blue. So we'll give it a scuff and shoot that today as well. Do you think we'll just kind of, how long do you think it has to be on there? Preheat oven to 200 degrees. Check. Wear long rubber gloves. Wearing ankle gloves. Liberty spray spread newspaper. Man, there's way too many things we're not doing here. You gotta go like thick on it. That's how I do it in the oven. Then you let it sit for like 15 to 20 minutes. Well, I'm leery of the 15 to 20 minutes. Wait, it has to penetrate. But he's not wrong. It does come right off. I wonder if that mangles the whole, the paint, or just the, <coughs> oof. Strong stuff. We did get, there was 35% faster. I went with the 40% faster. Um, allow foam to work 10, five to 10 minutes, then clean with a wet cloth or sponge, rinsing frequently. For heavily soiled areas, allow work to work longer. Man, it stinks. Yeah. Is this considered a heavily soiled area? You know what I always worry about when I'm doing stuff like this and you don't really know what you're doing is, it's like, you know, it says water or whatever, we have Windex. But you know those guys that like, especially with cleaning products, they'll put like bleach and something else together and they end up like making mustard gas on accident and they like, kill themselves or whatever. Wow, look at that. Holy moly. Well, thank you. Whoever wrote that comment, I wish I remembered. Honestly, you know what this would be sweet for? Is the patina look. Like if Joe came over and you painted it. And, and then, you, then did, you rubbed it off, yeah. Like you kind of did a little of that. It doesn't appear that the black's coming off, really. I think that's just dirt, to be honest. We did the car. We didn't clean the car whatsoever. Wow. I bet if you actually left it on there for the full 10 minutes, it'd be like two swipes and off. Honestly, it just kind of cleans up the black paint. Yeah, no, <laughs> that's mint. It might be taking a little black off. I'm not really too sure. No, like when I just get into the black, it stays. Yeah. Wow. That that was a tech tip right there. Well, thank you, Miss. You gotta get it foamy though. You're not foamy. It's gel. No, it's foam. No, it's not. It says foam. Where? This is good TV. Where does it say foam? <laughs> hold, on. hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Is everyone reading the instructions right now? Fast cleaning. Should I do something? Gloves. Yeah, okay. Spray. No, I was right there. <laughs> from distance. Spray away from, oh, from face. <laughs> yeah. Make sure you're pointing. Allow, allow foam to work. Foam it. Okay, well, wait. You're not wearing gloves. That was... It doesn't really. You have to do layers. Like thick, man. You know, you've never cleaned an oven. There you go, see? What's <laughs> this stamp? Ooh. Okay, we'll let this sit for a few minutos. Man, that's mint. Okay, ready for this one? <laughs> 
Bye bye. Phone, that was a good phone. What do it taste like? No, don't do that. <laughs> that's shocking. That that's, is a, that was a good tech tip. That's amazing because that stuff sits out in the sun, the winter, the, I mean, everything. And it, the paint didn't come off. Like it's tough paint, but a little bit of oven cleaner. I wonder, we have to Google why. Bill Nye a science guy, that that's stuff. Smart. Oh, this is actually. Oh, well, that's taking the white off. Yeah, that sure is. And it didn't really take any of the black off. This white was pretty, pretty ungood. I wonder what we're gonna do there. Oh, you know what? I think we'll just have to be ginger with this. Cause it, Gentle. yeah. Well, I said gingerly, but yeah. This might just need a little to kind of do that. You think it's been long enough now? No, it's been like 30 seconds. Wow. <laughs> this is one of those like satisfying videos. You're right, might need just a few, but that didn't take any black. The black paint sticks like crazy. Yeah. There you go, Max. Look at this. Look at it, it's bubbling it. Oh, that is so satisfying. Oh, my face is right there, man. Where are your gloves? Wow, that's, that's shocking. Well, you know what it is? I wonder if the black is different than the... And unfortunately, if the black is different kind of paint, we'll just do the... Oh, yeah, hey. I don't know what to use for black. Obviously, the white is the... Also, and this is... I put this paint on. Like, that's just ugliness, so... We'll see. It turns into, like, this weird yellow color. Wow, that's... It's literally eating it away. Look at that. Holy moly. Wow, I am, I, uh, we're buying this stuff for at Canadian Tire. And I'm like, is the guy just messing with us and it's gonna completely gibble the paint? Danny's like, let's just do a sample pass. I'm like, yeah, that's not how it works here. <laughs> wow. <laughs> that is, wow, that's a sweet little tech tip right there. The worst case, if we have to, on the roof or whatever, we could wet sand that. Yeah. That is amazing. Wild. Is this, I guess we'll let that set up for a little bit. I put just a little here. I wonder if I can just kind of. Oh yeah. Yeah. It's still kind of taking the white yeah, off. Yeah, it's taking the white off big time. I think that will have to wet sand. So otherwise it's gonna blend that together. That's unfortunate. Sad times. I wonder if it's gonna do anything here. Oh yeah. So that'll work. And it's actually not even taking the white off. No, that's weird. But this I did, I painted oh. that. Well, well, can I keep spraying it all down? I like doing that. I'll put the gloves on. We'll stop oh. and then we'll be right back. All right, Danny, kill the dreams. Perfect. Look at that hard work you're putting in there. Just do the white, like the, no, like sort of the white. Yeah, I think the black will be careful with because I don't the white obviously comes off pretty easily that's pretty good uh, let's just do a little bit of time just in case we run into a bunch of issues you know what I mean let's get this side let's get this side dialed tonight and then tomorrow we'll uh, we'll carry on here you want to wipe it grab a rag It just flakes right out. That's amazing. Like, and even, I mean, we'll get little bits and pieces off of it, but. Well, I bet these ones that we really like let it soak into though. Like here, I'll try this one now. It didn't bubble on that. Also, you gotta get the top layer off and then, holy, wow. That's crazy. Oh. <laughs> Look at that. That's cool.
cool. Science. <laughs> it's like it never existed. Oh, yeah. Well, here, wipe, hang on. Let's wipe it all. Well, here, hold this. I'll give it a, I'll clean it off first here. This is satisfying. There you go. You thought it would be a boring night in the garage. That, what a trick. You're going to have to go back and find that comment. Oh, yeah. This, I painted, I must have put lower, uh, fenders on this now that I see it. Yeah, no, I, I'm going to have to... Well, hopefully the guy's watching. I, I and he can say it was him. Well, yeah. Or anybody can grab the... Steal the uh, thunder at that point. You want to spray it on there? Wow. Look at where it just, like... Yeah. Off. Also, like, look at the paint. How, like, when you put a little, like, water on it and stuff, how nice it is. Yeah, it's going to go crazy there. The, uh, we'll get Murr over here to polish this thing. It'll come out real nice. Do a little wipe off. I think it's been on long enough, or should we let it sit for a little longer, maybe? Mm. Let's let it sit for 10 minutes. I just want to do it now. You gotta wait. So, the fender's gonna be what's gonna be. What's actually happening is this was all rusty, and it's taken away the rust, so that's getting the bare metal, which is kind of hilarious. There's little, that's like a little cut in the paint and stuff, so we'll see if it'll polish out, but otherwise, I mean, let's be honest, it's gonna be what it's gonna be. I mean, like, but you know what? As I recall, all this polished out, and now it's all come back as rust and whatnot. This this thing looked pretty sharp when we polished it, so let's, uh, let's carry on. That one's not too big of a deal because I'm going to scuff the whole door and I'll paint it tonight. Perfect. Oh, bye peg. Bye peg. Oh, yeah. Wow. <laughs> that is ridiculous. I got to just get a little Windex. And just in case it's eating away at the, the rest of the paint there. I don't want to wipe the oven cleaner off. This car looks pretty good. Okay, let her rip. Oh, <laughs> that's crazy. It's like it was a sticker almost. That is amazing. So now up here we did, it came off, the paint didn't come off, but when I painted this thing, that's where the door obviously was. So this is all kind of original paint that I used or whatever. But back here is the same kind of paint that's up here, which again, I think we may end up polishing it out, but I think we'll spray it on there and we'll see. So, wow, just like that. Like way harder it is no more i did like this car i mean this is what the car looked like when i first got it oh, it was a four-door obviously but i really they just had the right look and the stance and all that you can kind of see it in the shadow a little bit like it has well the sun right like like obviously you can still see the fuel injected so hopefully we can polish that out well let's let's just go for broke here and I'll put a second coat on that and then this, I guess we'll just, I think we'll kind of like a little bit of less is more on it maybe, you know, instead of really letting it rip, just get on the paint. And let that set up for a few minutes. And uh, you know what I'll do is I will, I'm probably just going to paint, well, how much I should, I should even paint or whatever, paint up here and stuff. But my plan is, I guess I should explain instead of just thinking in my head. I'm going to scuff this. Uh, I just painted this with semi-gloss, like just single-stage trim clan of a rattle can before. And uh, we'll let it harden up dry real good. And then uh, we'll polish it, wet sand it, whatever, and kind of let some of the ugliness through. So this was a blue door, which I am sure I, uh, I probably painted it with some primer or something like that. And then paint it black over it, and then you can sand through the black to get some of the primer out. But 
There you go. I mean, oh, I just tasted something. And uh, it burned my tongue. We'll hit the bottom there and get all kind of rust out. But yeah, it'll look kind of flat, boring and stuff. But uh, should polish up nice. Okay, so I scuffed up the door just a little bit. I'm not going to go too crazy on it. I want to get this done. It is going to mess the paint up. But this car, the way it is, is it was a, a black car that then they painted white on top. So it's just kind of going to be what it's going to be. Unfortunately, the front bit, that's all my paint. Now back here, we can, oof, man. It's just eating everything. I don't know if we're, we're making it worse here. <laughs> There's not a whole lot we can do at this point. I think we're committed. Oh, man, is it burn this stuff when you get it? When they say long, uh, long gloves, they aren't joking. Well, it's just gonna have, you know what we'll do? We'll go back into here with it. We'll go up here too. And then when we polish, we'll polish up in, up in there. It's the way she's gonna be, we're committed at this point. And then this is the last little bit here. Oh yeah, you can see there's some black overspray I did there. Okay, so now, oh, man, that stuff. We're like outside and it's ridiculous. I should have shaken this up. Actually, I need a piece of paper or something. What is this? It's a pile of grease. It's foam. Instead of masking. I'm like those art guys that make like a universe, you know, or like spray bombs. Mm -hmm. Basically what I am. Whoops. You know what I should do? Open, Open the door. door. Now again, I'm not really too concerned here because we're going to kind of buff this all off anyways. The other door really was unhappy like a bunch of blue came out the bottom which i guess uh, road rash will do that oh yeah that guy's got his talk radio cranked eh wonder if he was listening to the podcast what the dd speed shop podcast the dd speed shop podcast danielle where can you hear the dd speed shop podcast you can hear the dd speed shop podcast on youtube spotify apple podcast and wherever you get your podcasts wow bunch of sellouts on that probably eh every sunday <laughs> every sunday is that what we're doing sundays yeah okay look at that trim claddy well i'm gonna do the bottom i don't really care too much but oh i missed a spot okay store that away are you ready for this disaster? Other than the, unfortunately, the white paint is just terrible on this. Wow, I can't. Uh... Not gonna lie, I think it made it worse. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's crazy how it's still on there. It just, uh... you know what it is? I think the paint must have reacted with the white in it because it's it's right down the black like it's like it bit into the yeah. into the white paint instead of kind of being on top of it which is a little unfortunate but that might have to just be a, a polish job in the end i mean let's be honest the, the whole ghost of dd speed show the paint is what it is at this point it's a little bit more black than it is white and you could paint just the the top bit of this but
I don't know. It looks goofy, but it's one of those, well, obviously I'll have to go in here and get that. I wonder if I should just sand it. At this point, we're down to the, we're down to the nitty gritty here. Let's just, let's just carry on with this chaos. This is where all the old guys are losing their mind. Murr is just twitching at home as you know why yet. Plus, you know what? We'll just discuss this on the podcast. Honestly, maybe my sanders are just that low, but I don't even think it looks that bad. <laughs> well, it definitely has the patina look to it. And I mean, this will leave scratches, but we'll be able to buff that out. Honestly, do we just leave the speed in there? Yeah. Kind of it is what it is at this point. That's the nice thing about the old patina paint jobs and stuff. There's really no right or wrong. Well, unless that's the internet, then there's for sure a right and wrong, but pretty confident. I just, I know myself, like I wouldn't want someone else's car with their name on it, like, and I kind of could be respectful of that to the next guy, I wouldn't, wouldn't expect me to want our name on something, I don't, I don't know, kind of looks how it looks, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This, I'm hoping now we can just polish that out. Bob's your uncle probably hose this whole thing down with Windex just in case there's any oven cleaner left on it, but how does it look from the front here? Ah. Once the door dries a little bit, I mean, it's, it is what it is. So I think we're going to leave this here for now. Actually, you know what we can do is up here right quick too, right above the fresh paint. more than it needs. Get a rag. Oh, it is really on there. I'm trying not to be too aggressive, but away she goes. Yeah. Listen, Queen D sticks with you for life. Tell me about it. You are not cheap, not easy to get rid of. Okay, so I'll just kind of hose that down. We'll give it a couple of wipes, some fresh rags. We'll be back at it tomorrow. Tear. Don't touch your eye. Oh yeah, imagine that. <laughs> Okay, next day we're back at it. Um, last night I did a little messing around. We put, well, I painted the door. You can see it's kind of, it is what it is. We'll scuff it up and do its thing. And then last night I couldn't go in without trying this. So I had a little bit of this miscellaneous touch-up paint. This is actually for that Ford truck we had, have. And it kind of almost blends in a little bit. We'll kind of, you know, scuff that up and polish it on the next video. Uh, we'll bring through some of the, the black undertones. Um, so this side is essentially done. Unfortunately, the back here is going to be a bit of an issue because we got a little bit down here to kind of take off, and I think it's going to screw up the white. And somebody really has to clean up in here. Who put the Cold War Motors calendar down there? Wow, usually it's up and used every day. <laughs> um, I'm a terrible person. We're actually just kind of putting some stuff on the front, so we'll do more of this. Danny's doing this for a little uh, vertical vertivid. So we'll, uh, we'll take care of that. It's kind of doing its thing. We'll spray the rest on and peel it off. It is very satisfying. And then uh, we'll paint this door and paint the back there a little bit of white. We have to do the bottom corner of the deck lid and we'll let that harden up and dry. And the uh, next video we'll uh, polish it, make it look good, go through my list of stuff.
I think I might just start crossing stuff off that I don't want to do. Okay, well, we'll be back. This is burning my eyes. We'll be back when Danny's done her little art project. So what we found out in the process of like elimination is you put one coat on, it takes like a lot of it off. But then when you put the second stuff on, it, it really wrinkles the paint. It's almost like there's a top kind of coating or something. And then this stuff comes off like just like nothing now at this point. Like just so I think what I'm going to try and do is use a little bristle pad and see if I can maybe just kind of, while it's still got some you know oven cleaner on, it just kind of like break up a little bit of the top. This is actually coming up pretty easy. And the reason I'm doing this is because we don't have any more oven cleaner and I refuse to drive out for like a second coat here. So I just kind of like, gosh, this is almost better than a rag. So as I was saying, we're experts. But I'm just gonna kind of, yeah, we'll break it up and we'll leave the slime it's on the it. edges is what what kind well, of some of it kind of some of it kind of grabs there so but if we can kind of get some of it off we'll let it sit for just another, another another five minutes or something and then we'll come by and wipe it off kind of see see what happens oh merlin yeah see this one is kind of we give it a little a little jostle to let it sit really makes you think that you probably <laughs> that was disgusting if you're cleaning your oven with this stuff really make sure you get it all off well you bake it off too like so after you clean your oven you also like cook so that it all at least that's what i do i don't know if that's right or wrong don't take that i aside. feel like you don't want this on your chicken now the problem is back here the white paint like i said is just it's not going to go good it's going to eat the white paint well maybe we can get lucky here Man, we are figuring it out on round two. Luckily, we started on the pasture side. Yeah, yeah, it's kind of taking the, it's kind of taking the paint. But I'm thinking if we can maybe being gingerly with it is definitely better. Being for, ginger with a little bit of a bristle. bristle. So we'll do this, and then maybe what we'll do is we'll uh, we'll let it sit again, but we'll spray it, and so the stuff can come off uh, versus trying to wipe it off. Because when you wipe off, it just gets all clumpy and gross. Where you want to go next? Where are we going? Yeah, you can see it's, it's still taking off the white paint, unfortunately. But we'll give it a little bit of action here. Like I said, we can always touch it up when we're done. A little bit, of, a little bit of '57 Chevy in a can, It'll be golden. So we'll uh, I'll do this right quick. We'll come back in another five ten minutes for its final removal. <clears throat> so. We got her kind of mostly dealt. I, so I guess I should do a little like warning. So we're using a bristle pad to kind of grab it off. If you were just using the oven cleaner, maybe a couple of lighter coats with a rag and stuff, it probably wouldn't uh, obviously scratch the paint or nothing. We're not overly caring on this deal because we're going to end up, uh, oh, I didn't do my name, the last thing. We're going to kind of polish this thing and you know, fake patina it and all that crap. So it's going to be what it's going to be. But now, we should be able to kind of like wipe it right off. That's so cool. Thank you, internet. Who would have thought, eh? The internet's for good, not evil? Never heard of such a thing. Oh, yeah. Man. Okay, so that'll be round one wipe and this is like round two wipe now i don't know what the deal is but i feel like you should probably make sure you get as much of the oven cleaner off as you possibly can <laughs> it's probably not great for the finish this is an original paint car i might add just ruining it all for the internet man we have to google well i say google i'll do nothing and someone on the internet will let us know why this works so well. I'm sure Mer will let us know. You think he's Googling it as we speak? Probably. His Mer senses are tingling? He'll be on an episode of the podcast. Oh, God. There we go. Get that all wiped down. You can't even tell someone butchered this thing together. I mean, other than it looks butchered. There we go. Wow. It's very satisfying, but it's also very sad, humbling. 
I don't know what the word I'm looking for is. Well, it's the closing of a chapter. Yeah, don't worry. I'll buy six more Tri-5 Chevys and do the same thing all over again. Look at that. So up here, I feel like it's going to be not great. I can hardly tell. This is definitely going to eat some paint. I feel like we might as well just embrace the whole thing here. <laughs> See what happens. I think that's all, oh yeah, it's all black, right? Right down to it. This is what happened on the other side too. For, oh, for whatever reason, it just ate the white paint. It was not happy. So, what I did on that side, or the other side, I'll do here. I'm just gonna scuff it out. And then I'll, uh, I'll fade her in with a little paint. We'll do that. I didn't feel that yesterday. I was, wasn't even thinking. I didn't know if it was going to work or not. I thought, hey, if it doesn't work. Nobody needs to know. I guess there's not really a whole lot of point worrying about if I'm going to paint it white. Duh. What's this back going to look like here? Same deal. It's she all missing. I did kind of contemplate when I got this car, like a real black widow has a black roof, which I think would be kind of cool to uh, to recreate all of this. It's crazy how it uh, the name kind of stays. This one, the other side, we just went a little bit a little wider to give it a more uniform texture. You know what I mean? That'll polish nice. Yeah, you can see how we had the roof all, you know, nice, nice clean white and all the rust oxidization came through after just leaving it outside for a mere two years. So, okay, I'll get this cleaned up. We'll come back, we'll do the door right quick and uh, we'll paint up here. And I kind of think that's it. There's no other bits we missed, eh? No. Nope. Yeah. Uh, a little Just cleanup. Like that. Your name comes right off. It's that easy. <laughs> Nothing is permanent. Not even your name stencil on a car. So I left it kind of wet, and not completely wiped down the bottom, just in case. I got a little overspray. It'll kind of. You know, not stick, which is the plan. Mask off my original base model 150 trim, which everyone thinks this is a 55 Chevrolet, even though it's clearly a 57 because of the trim. I think they forget the wings or the whatever you want to call them. Wings? Fins. 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 Okay, I kind of like to like protect this little original Minnedosa Manitoba emblem. It's kind of neat. From the car was not a pile. So we can kind of just is what it is there. Um, a little dupe of color. Just go look around until you see what you got. This was just next door, so it was free. Now this is absolutely not the right way of doing it, but you know what? Good enough for who it's for. I feel like we should maybe even run it all the way up here. I didn't do it too far up on the other side, but I always hated this look. It kind of looks blah, but this color kind of blends a little better, eh? Now if I do any overspray, which I'm probably am getting, well, Danny, it's not that bad. This is rattle can. We're in a well-ventilated area. We can, uh, we'll polish whatever kind of overspray we get. This stuff is very thin for whatever reason, but put one coat on there. Then we go with the Trem Clad Professional. That's how you know it's good. 
because it's professional. I only did the bottom half of the door. Oh. Who put white out here? Damn it. We really DD speed shop that, didn't we? It's all coming back to me. Last night, I was just going through whatever whites I had. <laughs> so as I was saying, you want to double check the can. Okay. <laughs> Damn it. That's going to end up on Facebook. Look at that. It's like it never happened. We blended it. A little, a little gray. Now this one actually around the door handle is kind of rough. I always kind of hate the blue coming through. We'll have to kind of, you can only imagine the people, why are you taping it? Cause I'm lazy. And you know what I'll do after is I'll come back. Well, actually you can see there's already black overspray the first time I did it. <laughs> so, so at least I haven't changed. <sighs> Come on, Dan, do better. Just do what the internet wants. Look at that, we'll fog this thing in right quick. This door, for whatever reason, I guess when I prepped it, I didn't prep it as good. These are, uh, I believe they're actually 55 Chevrolet doors that were blue. We just did a quick color change on them. And realistically, I mean, I probably painted these exactly like this i'm gonna say at least two years ago but three years ago so i drove it for a full year before we did power tour and we took it on power tour two years ago so not bad for rattle can should I put a boot print in it so we'll let that kind of do its thing let it dry once everything's kind of tacked up we'll come back and do a quick little outro this is going to take a couple of a uh, couple of coats i'm thinking on the white here so i did last night Make sure it's white. come on where's your where's your supportive ways i guess i should maybe mask that eh? but again this is when i did it last time i didn't mask it either i didn't even take a trim off there's body filler on it trying to allow this is a nice uh, speed you know what? It's a nice car with a couple of little blemishes. Everyone's worried that if you like, it, it goes to your head sometimes. Yeah, now that I'm a two nomad guy. Yeah. Yeah. They think of all this, all this money, all these tens of dollars that I'm making off YouTube. It's gone to my head. Don't worry. That's why your hair's so big. I'll be a hack till I die. Promise. I yeah, will let that set up. It'll look good in the end. Ish. Oh, we gotta do the back. I forgot about that. I hate to get any overspray on anything here. I find one really thick coat. That's what people want to see. Yeah, it looks bad, but. You gotta trust the process. Okay, so I'm just gonna go ahead and do a little further up here. A little overspray, but the plan will be. Is that the title of this video? The plan will be? A little overspray? Yeah. No, it's gonna be emotional. DD Speed Shop cries as he rips off his name from his prized possession. Um, so we're gonna let this all set up up here. I mean, I got a spray. I'm just gonna hit that with a well, one of those Scotch Brite pads. So this same thing. We'll beat this all up. We'll we'll use a Scotch Brite. The black, <clears throat> the black underneath will kind of come through, and it'll be fine. And then this side, the trunk lid looks kind of goofy, but I'm thinking if we polish that, this might have to just go back to being a black section, and then. Uh, yeah. We're basically done. So same thing. We'll uh, we'll get that all taken care of. We'll probably make you know blend this out bigger for being you know a black spot. And then I like to kind of go over the door. I'll hit this area pretty hard because well I was thinking that's you kind of put your arm. So we'll beat that up pretty good. And it's got to be crease actually in the door. So we'll 
scuff that up, let that kind of rust and do its thing, and then uh, really, it cleaned up pretty good. This is kind of what I saw when I first bought this car, when it was a, a four-door rotten in someone's backyard. It was kind of neat looking. And the black with the, with the two-tone, you know, base model, two-tone black and white with, uh, with the, the green glass, I mean, it's just an absolute classic look. And it's sad to get rid of, but you know what? We will find another one. There's a bunch out there we've been looking, and uh, we gotta keep doing this stuff, and you guys do love the, the two-door conversions. Honestly, I love doing them. They're very fun. They're, they're like kind of a quick and easy thing. You can you know, make a two-door in a weekend, and there's only so many you can make and then keep. So um, don't worry, people have been asking. We're keeping Danny's car no matter what, the blue one. I'm keeping my gray 55, the two-lane car, the first car I ever two-door swapped. A big thing of what I wanna do, I actually wanna get rid of some of these cars, get a few dollars in, and I wanna spend money on that car and do it properly. I've been talking about it for years now, I think this is summer we're finally going to do it. Uh, yeah, I kind of cheaped out in a few spots there, and now is the time. Well, because we were very poor. Very, very poor. <laughs> and uh, that was, I think we only had one or maybe two cars at the time, and they were clearly done on absolute. But it took me a full year to build that car. Not because of, obviously, my work speed, but because of my bank balance. So now we can kind of carry on, and, and whatever money we get out of these two hot rods, not all of it, obviously, but a few thousand dollars going to that thing. I mean, kind of a cool driver. And I'm excited about that. Collections apparently want some of that money. <laughs> One time. We might have got a letter in the mail, but it's, it's all fine. We'll pay the $106. It's, <laughs> it's not that we're that broke. It's that we're that bad at billing. <sighs> this, is a, this is a business, and we're not, we're not businessmen. We're bodymen. <laughs> Clearly. <laughs> all right, guys. Well, hey, thanks for hanging out. Really appreciate it. Please leave a comment below. This was kind of a, you know, I'm making a joke about it, but it is kind of sad to see the cars go, but... Such is life. We'll uh, we'll build another one. There's lots out there. Bye.